Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. First of all, I want to apologize to our viewers on this channel because of missing the 12.30 p.m. video, that's African, uh, East Africa time, because uh, we had problem, power blackout. I'm sorry for that, but then we are back here. Everything is now in order. Now, in as much as Kenyans, we are trying to start the year 2023 on a positive note. Still, there are many things people are wondering about William Ruto's government. Everyone wants to start this year on a very positive note. But Ruto's government, seemingly, is dragging Kenyans back. And if Kenyans remember about the few hundred days of William Ruto in the office, then going forward, you get disgruntled. So the question men have been asking about William Ruto government, are you still optimistic about this government? And what is one thing that is making you to believe that this government will, uh, will soon start serving the interest of Mwana Inch? If you have any, tell me. If you are optimistic, tell me in the comment section. Any positive thing that you have seen in William Ruto's government. He might have done so many things wrongly, but just one thing that is a positive one. You can tell me in the comment section. I'm saying this because, again, I saw Pauline Joroge posting uh, something on her Facebook page. This is one person who has been supporting Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Molodinga side. But then today, he was just asking a simple question to her followers. <laughs> Again, I learned most of her followers are her critique. Just one thing. Any positive thing that you learn from William Ruto's government going forward. And if you read the comments, I don't know Kama Mweshimiwa Ruto Ana. And Angalia Ville Mambo Iko. You realize that Kenyans have no any positive thing towards William Ruto's government. They don't see future in William Ruto's government. So without wasting time, I want to read that post. And then, because we always talk here on this pipeline, sometimes it is good also we share the views of Kenyans directly on this pipeline. So today we will read the reaction of Kenyans to this post, which seemingly is a reflection of William Ruto's government. And as we do so, please, just a request, eh? if you are watching and you're not a subscriber, I'm still humbly requesting you to subscribe. Our channel subscribers, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you and back to this discussion. This is what Pauline Joroge posted. On a positive note, what action, activity by Ruto's administration are you happy about so far? One that shows we are headed in the right direction as a country as well as an implementing the bottom-up economic model. No sarcasm kindly, just genuine others only. That was the post. And if you ask me, the way I said, personally, I don't see anything positive. Personally, what I can remember directly about William Ruto's government, number one, we can talk about a trillion borrowing in 100 days. This is a man who said he will not be borrowing. He wants to generate resources here and run the government. Number two, increase electricity bill. That just happened the other day, for those who remember. Number three, increase on exercise duty. As of now, Transacting money from um, a bank to M-Pesa, it will attract 20% um, duty exercise. While what we call a unit at a low cost, now it is going to cost you. Some people will not even use this uh, power connectivity. Another issue is all about increase in cost of living generally. Everything has gone up. Basic need zimeenda ju. The poor of the poorest cannot afford this new government of bottom-up. 
Another thing is of removal of M-Pesa, uh, sorry, removal of a Pesa ya Waze. That one has gone. Now, Wazes are lament lamenting in this country. Pesa ilitolewa, ilikuwanga ilifumbili na ilikuwa inasaidia wa watu. Sana. However small it was, it was helping even some to get medicine here and there, among other things. Another thing is removal of Linda Mama. There was a program initiated by Uhuru Kenyatta, Linda Mama, which was helping mothers when they go to maternity. But as of now, it's no longer there. So the poor, the poorest cannot afford this life. Now here on your bottom up. Another thing is promoting uh, uh, the GMO, uh, uh, Bill Gates. So, generally, it's taking care of the interest of billionaires in the world. Then another thing is dismissal of cases. Some of his close allies, regarding the Gashagwa, Akina Mithika Linturi, 32, civil cases. However, it will be civil, but there are cases. Among other, Akina Aisha Juma, their cases were dismissed. Then another thing, regarding the Gashagwa, 200 million shillings was returned before it was frozen. So the money was returned back to the Gashagwa, among other many things. That's what I can say. But now let us go to the comments from Kenyans. Rio Makate, this is what she's saying. Personally, an alukwam, they have this. Disregarded the plight of Mwanainchi, shifted priority and currently serving their own interest. This will turn out detrimental on them. Reputation, so waiting for this government to deliver, will be uncalled for expectation. Jerry, George, 90% of this administration initiat initiative are just fictional and more of Revenge game. Nothing factual. How can one get hustler fund in his stroke have impesa and the Fuliza isn't eaten? So so that when repaying to have a larger lim limit. You fight clear you first clear with Uhuru, Fuliza then come back to fishy hustler fund. Okay, will ye come out? Seems like the president has a plan, but the question will, will it just remain a plan? Good one. Caroline Wahome, Hustler Fund, you have to be stupid to think he meant well. There is the 20 something coin he deduct. Okay. Cyrus Jirongo taught him well. He print more for campaign Watawale. Okay. Ramari, Ramari, kutoa linda mama enye ilikuwa ina benefit dynasty. <laughs> eh, you see? Na hasla fund enye nili bae kuku moja, I'm waiting iteg, itege mayai, I repay, but nimekosa jogo to complete the project. There was someone who said he will buy a chicken and then have eggs and repay the hasla fund. And you're not, you're not, you're supposed to pay this hustle fund within 14 days. I don't know how quick that one can happen. Eh? Ruth Rachel, retaining junior secondary in primary school may relieve some parents from high cost of a secondary education. Okay, that one is the positive thing is seen from Ruto's government. We continue. The positive thing. Uh, Jimia Mutakatifu, thanks for asking Ata Mimi Sioni Kwenye Tunaenda. Okay, another one. Michael David Kivai. I thought of this today as I was crossing the road below the Nairobi Expressway. I then saw the just newly completed Uhuru Park. The thought went away like hot air. Okay. Captain, Captain T. Nyamari. Very prayerful leader. The government for Mamamboga and Boda Boda. Okay. Future Nyuki, free oxygen to Uhuru Kenyatta. He said that Dr. The doctor depend on him. <laughs> okay, another one here, very long. John Mwangi, 
I am optimistic about Uhuru regime, but so far only positive thing I can draw from this Hasla regime is entrusting His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta as he lead peace envoy in Ethiopia, Congo, and the Horn of Africa. This is only a real, I can see, and uh, register progress and a uh, wonderful prospect from Uhuru efforts and uh, genius of his endeavor to peace. The joy and uh, gladness of tyranny of people when fighting were, were restored by E.T. in Mekele after almost two years was still all the uhuru and economic and economic gesture in what he put his mind and uh, will power to do will power to do hawa wengine ni pata potea okay james omuse uwezo fund pesa ya waze kazi mtaani nothing positive the only good thing will be ruto was a once a president Okay, Councillor Njohi, rewarding loyal, loyalists, I think it's only Maura and Waruguru who are yet to eat something. Hey, that's true. Another one, Kewa SK. Rachel speaking last in meetings nowadays, meaning we have a female president. Great step in the right direction for the women of Kenya. Nani meenda. Pauline responded to this one. You are breaking the rule, bro. That means <laughs> who's not answering the question. Okay, we continue. Kony, Tony Gidai. I need time to inquire about it, but I think there is one has done, but I can't remember. Oh, I have remembered. He, he launched a Thiba Dam after a week in office, which was contracted by Uhuru Kenyatta. We continue. Ogutu Kwach, rewarding loyalists and keeping friend friendship deals. Hapo Ruto amechapa wanasiasa wengi. That's true. He rewarded loyalists like in Amsalem Davadi, the team that has been around him, Wetangula, the Mount Kenya team. Pauline Dorok responded to this one. How does this translate to implementation of the bottom-up economic model. Good one, eh? Those are the response from Wanainchi. Thank you. I am waiting to read your comment.